Terrorists linked to Al-Qaeda finally strike London. Thousands of police officers are involved in the hunt for the people who tried to bomb the London Underground and a bus. Among them, armed officers who've been told they can now shoot on site suspected suicide bombers. is due in one minute. Suspect is preparing to board. Bloody hell. Repeat, suspect is preparing to board. Should I detain? Request instructions. Hold position. Go, command. This is Bulldog. The suspect is about to board a crowded commuter train. I need instruction. I need it five bloody minutes ago. Please respond. Sir? Tell them. Tell them to keep him off the tube. Deadly force is authorised. Bulldog, this is operations. You are clear to go. Deadly force is authorised. Repeat, deadly force is authorised. Police, open the gate! Police, move! Police, get out of the way, move! Police, move! Police! Get out of the way! Move! Get out of the way! Move! Drop to your knees. Do it! Hands above your head! Now! Bob! Okay. 
Okay. Good. Good. Where is it? Yeah. What's this? What's this? It's a music player. Like a Walkman, sir. I know what it is. I do have grandchildren. What a fucking mess. Begging your pardon, sir, but I don't see that it is a mess. Really? Open your eyes. What does that tell you? Bloody media. Never there when we do something right. Meaning we're in the wrong this time? No, sir. Slip of the tongue. What do we know for certain? The suspect, Bakir Hassan, emerged from a residence we were surveying. We had intelligence that terrorist activity was being conducted there. Intelligence? An anonymous tip was called in. Can we trace the call? We're trying, but they don't exactly leave their details. <laughs> what, they call it anonymous? Commander, any minute now, I will be getting a call from our new commissioner of police, and I will have to inform him that only six weeks into his administration, we've already managed to lay a huge career-destroying scandal on his doorstep. Perhaps levity is not in your best interest at this moment? Sir, sorry. This D.I. Marva, is it? What does he have to say? Well, the suspect didn't respond to a lawful order to surrender. Because he couldn't hear it? Or he willingly chose to ignore it. Who's to say? The IPCC, I would imagine. With all due respect, sir, D.I. Marva and his officers followed policy to the letter. They did. And now it looks as if Scotland Yard has declared war upon innocent civilians. If he was innocent. Do you have evidence to the contrary? Well, he was Muslim. Being a Muslim isn't a crime, Commander. Not yet, anyway. Yes? Commissioner Lang for you, sir. I'll be with him right away. What are you going to tell him? The truth. That we're not very sure at this point. You can show yourself out. John, the Commissioner is keeping a close eye on us. He's made it clear he wants things sorted quickly. Or someone in this office will pay the price. And I can assure you, it will not be me. Sir. Commissioner. I have it right here. Yes, sir. I agree. I think we found our man. Beg your pardon, sir. They're waiting for you upstairs. Well, Terry. Morning. Feeling okay about this? I'll give it my best. I expect nothing less. Morning, ladies and gentlemen. Morning. My name is Tariq Ali. And first, I will read from a prepared statement. And after that, I will take the questions. <clears throat> At approximately 7.15 a.m. on the 10th of July, armed police fired upon a suspected suicide bomber as he attempted to board a northbound train at Charing Cross Tube Station. No officers or bystanders were injured, 
but the suspect, Bakir Hassan, uh, B-A-Q-I-R-H-A-S-S-A-N, Bakir Hassan was killed after he refused to comply with a lawful order to surrender. The investigation is currently ongoing and more information will be made available to you at a later date. Thank you. Come on, come on. Declan Quinn from The Informer. Is it true that the suspect had ties to Al-Qaeda? There's no evidence to support that as yet, but we are definitely not ruling out anything at this juncture. John Clark, Five News. Several witnesses from the station stated that the victim did not respond to police commands because he was unable to hear them. As I said before, the investigation is ongoing. Yes, miss? Pamela Davis, News Daily. What do you say to the victim's mother's claim that her son wasn't a terrorist, but was a victim of institutional racism by the police? Every mother would like to believe the best of her own child. However, all our hearts do go out to her at this time. Right. Come on. So the fact that the suspect was Muslim played no part in his being targeted. We are waging war on terrorists, miss. That is who we are targeting. But he was a Muslim. As am I, Miss Davies. Is it your contention that all Muslims are terrorists? Obviously not. What does that mean? What does that mean, Commander? Ladies and gentlemen, that will be all for today. The liaison officer will have printed copies of the statement for all of you. Thank you for coming. Very impressive, Commander. I dare say I couldn't have done better myself. High praise indeed. Here you are, Anisabi, the fresh stock. Enjoy cooking. See you next time. Thank you, Biden. You again? Listen, officer. This is harassment. Don't you have anything better to do than trouble an honest shopkeeper? Mm. Call these prices false? Um, officer, can I please offer you something? Mm -hmm. Some masala chai. That's what I want to go. I want to go. Mmm. Rabia, they are to the chak, I can't wait. You know, Rabia gets our favorite chai masala from Lahore. Bolivia? Bolivia. Ah, no wonder. <laughs> I saw the press conference. Mm hmm. And? Come on, I thought it went quite well. Who's heading the investigation? No official announcements yet. Commander Saab, there are no bloody cameras here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I really don't know. The brass on the top floor don't believe in sharing their thoughts with the lowly commander. Especially a Muslim one. Yunus, I'm having a good day. Don't ruin it. Hmm? Don't at dinner time. Oh, don't forget the special meat for Begum Saab. Hey, bless you. Hey, you're getting heavy. I have to stop feeding you so much. It's okay if I have dinner at Zayas tonight. That's okay with his mum. All right, off you go. Brilliant. Hey, champ, you're forgetting something. Mm. Thanks, Dad. Bye. Dinner will be ready in half an hour. Mm. <laughs> what are you cooking? 
Koch das. Oh. Oh. Smells divine. Got some mutton. Oh, put it in the fridge with you. All righty. Why, Zara? This is Rhoda's. You promised you could stay over. Oh, yes. Oh, the house free of children. Does that give you any idea? I have to be quick. My husband's coming home soon. Mm. The policeman. Oh. Mm. You're worth the risk. <laughs> mm. Oh, there's a letter for you. I think it's from Arthur. This one? So here is coming here the day after tomorrow. Look at you. The proud uncle. Mm, my nephew, the engineer. I like the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> you now all right all right I'll I'll be right over I'll be right over what is it Sir? Yeah. It's okay. Ruby, thank you for calling. Sorry about the hours, sir. Uh, I should be the one apologizing. Follow me. Rave parties, different location every night, usually abandoned buildings or vacant lots. It's very big with teenagers right now. They think it's retro. Anyway, somebody called to complain about the noise, and we managed to grab a few of them before they did a runner. Drugs? Yes. Little marijuana, some ecstasy. Yeah. If it's any consolation, she does seem very, very sorry. So am I. I was here when they brought her in. No one else knows who she is. No reason they should. I appreciate that, Ruby. Where did you think she was? Sleeping over at a friend's place. The classics never go out of style, do they? Does Mum know? Great. I'm sorry, sir, but I can't lie to Mum the same ease as you can, yeah? It's just a party. It's not like I killed someone. Just a party. Just look at the way you're dressed. Who else was at this party? Huh? You expect me to tell all my friends? As if it isn't bad enough having a cop for a dad. Was that guy Sean there? Hmm? Was Sean there? Look, Zara, we've talked about this. You are not to see that guy again. You are not to see that guy again. Why? You're much too young to have a serious boyfriend. Are you joking? In Pakistan, girls are married at my age. Oh, you both know the real reason why you don't like him. I have no idea what you're talking about. Sure, then tell me this then, Dad. Would you be so up in arms about me dating if my boyfriend was named Salman? You're grounded. <gasps> All right? Four weeks. You're grounded for four weeks. No phone. No television, no computers except for homework. And you're coming straight home from school. Four weeks, that's so unfair. Unfair. You want to talk about unfair? Do you realize what this could have meant for me? You see the headlines? Police commander's daughter arrested in drugs raid. That would have been great for my career, wouldn't it? Sure, because it's always about you, Dad, isn't it? I 
your daughter hates me. Well, if that were true, she wouldn't try so hard to get your attention. Tariq, I was wondering... Oh, I didn't know I'll come back. Yes, sir. Apologies, there was no one on reception. My door is always open to you, sir. Please, Daniel will do just fine. <laughs> All right, Daniel. I'm on my way out for a walk. I was wondering if you'd care to join me. Uh -huh. I promised Susan I'd quit. Well, my wife thinks I quit a year ago. So I change out a uniform before going home so she won't notice the smell. <laughs> you sure I can't? No. I lack your skill, but subterfuge. I sometimes find a little white lie less harmful than harsh reality. The media are having a real go over this incident. You know what they'd print if we allowed a suspect to walk onto a crowded train and detonate a device? Mm -hmm. Met fails to prevent attack. Damned if we do, doubly so if we don't. When will the IPCC submit this report? Who knows? Months? Weeks? The wheels of bureaucracy turn very slowly. Mm -hmm. Just have to weather the storm then, won't we? Tariq, we can't stand idle and let the media vultures vilify us in the public eye. The Commission and I have decided to task our own internal inquiry. I need someone who is not directly involved with Bulldog, someone to liaise with the IPCC, go through the case evidence, interview the family, make sure there were no blunders on our part, and if there were, make doubly sure that those responsible are held accountable. Me? Exactly. I'm certain that your findings will not be colored by any misguided loyalties. And it doesn't hurt to have a Muslim investigating officer, does it? The thought never occurred to me. If I agree to do this, I'll need an assistant, an officer of my choosing. Whatever you need. There's something else. I've uh, heard a rumor that Deputy Assistant Commissioner Cole might be retiring soon. You're very well informed. Requirement in a senior officer. Even more so than a Deputy Assistant Commissioner of Police, don't you think? When I was a young constable, you could wander all over this park and never see a single non-Caucasian face. Britain has changed. I like to think for the better. We need to reflect that. We need officers who understand the complexities of a multicultural Britain. We need officers like you. Bring me a favorable result to this inquiry, and I have a strong feeling this department is going to see its first Asian Deputy Assistant Commissioner. I don't know if I'll recognize him. I saw him last, he was just a child. That could be him, the, the backpack, the guy with the backpack. Hey, 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 Zaheer! Mamu! Ah, that is him, all right. Excuse me. Mamu! <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Welcome to London, Beta. Thank you. You're looking just like your mom. I hope not for her sake. <laughs> Omani. Mommy, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. MashaAllah, your pictures don't do you justice. Oh, what a job. Uh-huh. It's very nice to meet you. Same here. Oh, mamu mishra. Hey, chalo, yaar. Is this your first time abroad, Sayyid? No. I went to Saudi Arabia last year for my umrah. Oh, I would have loved to have gone to Mecca during my backpacking years. Oh, my dear, I told you, they wouldn't even allow you in there. Why not? What? I'm not a Muslim. Yeah, see, you should have listened to me when I told you to convert. Oh, shut up. Don't start that again. Look, are we? Never marry a gori, huh? <laughs> Yoga. <laughs> Mamu, thank you once again for your recommendation letters. All right. I don't know how you did it. You're a miracle worker. Yes, I am, though your money might not agree. Look, just concentrate on your studies, get your degree. That'll be all the thanks I'll need. And in sports news, footballer and underwear model Carlos Vieira can now add best-selling author to his list of achievements. His autobiography, My Life on the Ball, debuted on the London Booksellers Charts this week. The beloved Charlton Athletic midfielder will be doing a book signing tour in support of the turn, beginning at the Galleria Shopping Centre on the 24th of July. Yes! on the outside, in towards Kuka, coming in here, and the ball is in the net, but the whistle Despite the fact that Lasota has belted one in, Pat Flores... Zara, they're back! <laughs> Lovely. Hey, Mama, give me a second. Hey, no problem. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you, Mamu. It's not much, but... No. It's perfect. Mashallah. Well, make yourself at home. Thank you. I did. Aren't you coming down? Meet your cousin? I'm grounded, remember? Straight to school, straight to my room. No exceptions. Your words, not mine. <clears throat> Dinner be ready in half an hour. I'll see you then. Yes, Commander. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Malik Yawm Al-Din, Iyaka Na'abud wa Iyaka Nasta'in, Ihdin Al-Sirat Al-Mustaqim, Sirat Al-Ladhin An'amta Alayhim, غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين. Good morning, sir. You've heard. 
lieutenant's poster boy's leading the investigation. That bastard has cut me completely out of the loop. He's going to put all this on our shoulders. We follow protocol. Oh, wake up, man. Nobody cares. This isn't about protocol. It's about politics. Somebody's head is going to hit the chopping block to sate the public. You mark my word. Well, we'll just have to keep an eye on him then, won't we? And how do we do that? Crystal ball. I guess you didn't hear the full story. The commander has acquired himself a little helper. You must be hungry. Uh -huh. I know an excellent kebab will close by. Oh, come on. Why do you insist on rotting your insides with that rubbish? Ravi, you're such a good cook. Oh, uh, well, one man's rubbish is another man's cuisine. Still <laughs> thinking with your stomach, Eunice? Uh, well, <clears throat> it rarely leads me astray. Assalamu alaikum. Walaikum sir. Tariq, you're looking well. Thank you, Junaid Mia, but you're a bit far away from your own patch. What happened? Did you overstay your welcome in your own mosque? <laughs> hmm? On the contrary, I am now its imam. Alhamdulillah. You should visit us on Friday. It's not as fancy as this, but uh, still a place of worship. Saw you on telly, new spokesperson of the police department. You must be so proud. Sorry? Hmm. Who have we here? Oh, this is uh, my nephew Zaheer. Ismail Appa's son. This is Junaid Mia Tariq, and I know him from Lahore. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, young man. Mashallah. The last I saw you, you were crawling on your mother's floor. And look at you now. How are you finding London so far? A bit intimidating. Oh, don't worry, Putra, everything is going to be fine. Come. We have a study group that meets every Sunday. A bit out of the way for you, but it might be a good way for you to make new friends. Zaheer, I'm running late for an appointment. Ji, Mamu, I, I appreciate the offer, but I have a lot on my plate. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. If you change your mind, our doors are always open. Sir, Juta Chor. Remember he was caught stealing shoes at Bachai Mosque in Lahore? <laughs> My brother was not a terrorist. He only moved to London six months ago. He was going to be an artist. Rasul Pak ki kasam, mera beta terrorist nahi tha. Do you know if he met anyone recently at the college, uh, someone who might have been suspicious? He didn't have time for friends. He studied all week, then came home on weekends to help at the store. Look, this is total bollocks. Barkid was never a suicide bomber, and you know it. You're just here trying to cover your own asses. Look, I assure you, we're only trying to find out the truth. Sure. Well, excuse me. This interview is terminated. And you are? Fiona Munro. I represent the Hassan family. Any questions for them in the future can go through me and my office or in an interview room at the police station. Hold on. No one is being investigated here. Perhaps someone should be. My clients are the victims here. I don't want to be badgered or harassed by your department. Look, we are not adversaries. We both want the same thing here. I sincerely doubt that. Goodbye, officers. I'll see you in court. Papa, give me a chance to go home. For hundreds of years, a star of Islam was shining in the world because of Khilafah. Brother, the establishment of Khilafah is an Islamic duty. But Khilafah means imposing Sharia on everyone. 
What if we live in a non-Muslim democracy? No, brother. Khilafah as a duty is confirmed in the Quran, the Sunnah of the Prophet, peace be upon him, the consensus of the Saba and Sharia principle, and it's your duty to change the system of the Kuffar. What's your name, brother? Abdullah. Alhamdulillah. What's Abdullah? Abdullah means slave of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, can a Muslim subscribe to any of the freedoms mentioned in a democratic charter and be a Muslim in the true sense? No. No, no my brother. A slave of Allah cannot serve two masters. Join our study circle. Serve the cause of Allah. Welcome all. Oh, you've grown again. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Hello, darling. <laughs> Tarek. That's my nephew. Hello. 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 How lovely Welcome. you all She's look. Coming. And you get bigger every week. Come in, come in. Everyone's in the garden. young man. Like uncle, like me. <laughs> Makes a nice pair with Zara. Perhaps there'll be wedding bells in the family soon. Yeah, but they're first cousins, aren't they? So are Eunice and I. It is acceptable in our culture. As a matter of fact, it's even preferred. Excuse me. Was it something I said? I said deport them all. The faster, the better. Hmm. I have to say, I'm shocked to hear you say that, Yunus. Uh, every time someone like Abu Hamza or Sheikh Omar Bakri appear in front of television cameras, things become worse for my family, for my business. They open their mouth, half of England thinks that they speak for all the Muslims. I mean, you should see some of the things spray painted outside my store. Who needs the aggravation? I, you. Oh, I think your son has dreams of being the next Beckham, Mama. Uh -huh. That's good. He can support me in my old age. What do you make of this radical imam situation, Zaire? Yuna seems to think we should deport them all. Let them be somebody else's problem. I don't really know much about it, sir. Well, you read the newspapers. You must have some opinion. Well, I... I think there's a fine line between being a terrorist and a freedom fighter. Rubbish. They preach hatred and violence. There's nothing honorable about them. It wasn't long ago before Nelson Mandela was called a terrorist. And Menachem Begum. He was a part of Irgun, a group identified by the Brits as a terrorist outfit. And then later, when he became prime minister, he was called a peacemaker. OK. Two exceptions don't make a rule. I guess that depends on who is making the rules. Come on, come on. What are we getting so serious about? I thought this was a birthday party. Yeah. Sorry, Mamu, I meant no offense. Never apologize for your opinions, my boy. Leave that to the politicians. And. <laughs> to the police commanders. <laughs> <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, Brother Abdullah. Brothers, repeat after me. Bismillah rahman rahim Bismillah rahman rahim In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum, brothers. Wa alaikum assalam. I am so happy to see you all here. Brothers, before I say anything, I urge you to ask me a question which you yourself find difficult to answer. Brother Abdullah. 
A movement to create Khilafah will lead to bloodshed. Innocent people are going to die, and Islam does not condone the killings of innocent people. So how do we achieve Khilafah without violence? Brother, you are right. Islam does not teach killing innocent people. So now tell me who is innocent and who is not. Those who kill Palestinian men, women and children, are they innocent? No. no. Those who invaded Iraq, Afghanistan, Chechnya and killed thousands of Muslims in their own backyards, are they innocent? No. Those who throw cluster bombs on unarmed civilians, those who use tanks and bulldozers against pregnant women and children, are they innocent? No. no. Those who despise you because you are Muslims, those who deny you equality, jobs, visas because of your religion, are they innocent? No. If they are not innocent, if they are perpetrators or allies of the perpetrators, then they are at war with you and you are at war with them, brothers. Narai Jabbir! Narai Jabbir! Zahi, I... Oh, I'm sorry to disturb you. I was hoping you might do me a big favor. How can I help? Well, I have to pop up to the shops and do various things, and I was wondering if you wouldn't mind picking up Imran from football practice. <laughs> sure, Mummy. Not a problem. Thank you. Just do what we came here for. Oh, don't get involved in anything you don't have to. Yeah, but... Just don't get involved in anything. <gasps> oh, bloody hell. How do you stand it? A few more years, you won't even notice. Smell like morning on the heath. Oh, bloody likely. Well, it's not another domestic, is it? Uh, complaint of loud noises and strange odour coming from a third floor flat. How would you notice? Right. So anything? Any you are after shave? Pack the paintbrush, do you? Ooh, cheeky bitch. Just for that, you get to knock. Yeah? Police, sir. Can we have a word? Police, open the door now. Yeah? PC Andrews, this is PC Miller. We've had a complaint about strange odour. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry about that. It must have been our spicy food. Uh, anyone else in the flat, sir? No. No one else. Yeah, I thought I heard voices. It's, uh, just the telly. Look, I'm sorry, but I've got something on the stove, so can I just... Hey, who's that? <laughs> Window. It must be a fucking acrobat or something, I swear. Ah! Right, just check the kitchen. Fuck me. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Hey. The gang's all here. Yeah. Maybe I should call home and check that the kids are all right. Relax, Susan, they'll be fine. Last time you said that, you spent the night bailing out our daughter from the lockup. Same as that. He'll look after them. That's my boss. It's mine. And his lovely wife. Susan! Hello, how are you? Tariq, how was your trip up north? Oh, oh good. Go on, shop talk. Come on, let's mingle. Two glasses of champagne, you can't take her anywhere. So, the interview. Sure. The family have retained a lawyer. Oh, so Nothing surprising there. Her name is Fiona Monroe, and she is trouble. Most women are. 
No, thank you. Why not? We're in your mum's car outside my parents' house where I'm supposed to be babysitting. What else do you need? What about my room? My mum's passed out. I'm not ready. Be patient. That's what you said last month and a month before. You're such a wanker sometimes. Wait, wait. I'm sorry, OK? No, it wasn't me. It was the other part talking. You know I love you, right? Forgive me, right? I'm still a wanker. Yeah, well, whose fault's that? Ew, why? After your curfew, isn't it, mister? Sorry, Mum. Won't happen again. See that it doesn't. By the way, I, I think you missed a few buttons. So far up the deputy's ass, I'm surprised he can still breathe. I'm jealous. Any word on the interview with the family? Should know something tomorrow. See that you do. I was hoping we might discuss the Deputy Assistant Commissioner post. Commander, this is neither the time nor the place. elsewhere. I'll send the driver to take you back home. Good night. John, Harry. It's just been little stuff. A little bit of benefit fraud. A bit of petty theft. And now look at you. All grown up and playing the proper villain. Regular Osama in the making. I believe the suspect finds me funny, dear school. I believe you're right, sir. Is that it, Aziz? Well, you think I'm funny? You'll find this hysterical, then. You know what the sentence is for committing an act of terrorism on British soil? Life imprisonment. No parole. 30 years, mate. Shook it out just in time to collect your pension. That is, of course, unless we pack you up and ship you back to Rugged Land. I've got a better idea, 
actually. Why should we have the expense of putting you up? Maybe we should just give you to the Americans. Hmm? I've been there, you know. Guantanamo. Had to interview this bloke, student. Got himself arrested as a suspected terrorist. Said he was a British citizen, supposedly lost his passport. The poor bastard was in tears practically the entire interview. He told me how the guards used to make him stand on one leg for 13 hours straight. And if he fell over, he had to start all over again. The look on his face. <laughs> when I told him there was nothing I could do, he got down on his knees and he begged me to kill him. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine being so frightened of a place that you'd rather die than live there another day? I couldn't. How about you? Doesn't have to be that way as is. Help us and we can help you. Look, we know there was another man there. Help us find him and I give you my word, I will do what I can for you. It's all right. Please. Nasrun min Allahi wa fatun karib. Death to the enemies of Islam. Damn it. I thought we had him. any credible evidence that Mr. Hassan was linked to any terrorist activity. As such, my clients are going forward with the wrongful death claim against the London police, and in particular, the officers in charge of the operation. Fazan Hassan lost her son due to the inept handling of this incident, and rightly wants someone to be held accountable. But why now? Why not wait till the Independent Police Complaints Commission report? My clients remain dubious of such a report, or the accuracy of its findings. They prefer to let the court decide. My brother was no terrorist. He was murdered because he was Muslim. He was... That will be all. I mean, Mr. Sam, can you tell me? Why do you think... Oh, Are you okay? No, Susan, I'm not. This... I have to go. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. Aren't you going to be late? Mm, I didn't sleep very well last night. Oh, dear. Here. Yeah. Ah. Asalaamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Salaam. Oh. What's happened? Oh, I, I fell and twisted my ankle. Well, is it serious? Do you want to see a doctor? No. Oh, it'll be fine. <laughs> so how did it go last night? Everyone on their best behavior? Yeah, it was fine. Good. This is bloody hopeless. <laughs> oh, come on. We've only got 62 hours left to watch. Bring me a tub of French vanilla and some biscuits, and it'll be like my last day off. Mm. <laughs> I hope I'm not interrupting. Sorry, sir. Would you give us a moment, please, Constable? Yes, sir. So the hell's it coming? A few more eyes wouldn't hurt. Listen, I'm sorry if I offended you with that shipment back to Ragged and remark in the interview. I was just trying to get a rise. It's okay. 
But he is from Yorkshire. I understand you were with Commander Ali when he spoke with the suspect's family. Makir Hassan, yeah, we, um, we spoke to his mother and sister. About what in particular? Well, um, it wouldn't be proper for me to discuss that with you, sir. You've heard about the claim? Yes, sir. Strange timing, that, the way they came up with the idea straight after your little visit. I don't know what you mean, sir. I'm sure you don't. She was all over me. I practically had to fight her up. It was sore for like two days. What was it like? Fucking brilliant. She really knew what she was doing, yeah? Poor wisdom girls have to wait for marriage. Yeah, well, they're not supposed to eat pork either. Didn't stop her swallowing my sausage. <clears throat> Zara. Up! <laughs> So what was that then? A foreplay? <laughs> <laughs> that part. Part there. It's about here. Huh? A little further, Ruby. Here? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's about right. What do you reckon, officer? That's right, sir. You must be quite a marksman. I haven't had any complaints until now, that is. You identify yourself as a police officer? No, as a postman. Yes, sir. Could you excuse us for a minute, please, officer? You don't like me much, do you, Inspector? On the contrary, I have a deep respect for your position, sir. It's not really the same thing. So, the train was arriving. It was rush hour. People pushing, shoving, talking. Didn't occur to you that perhaps the boy couldn't hear you? Oh, police! Put your hands above your head and drop to your knees! Do it! It's all right. It's all right, folks. Sorry about that. Do you have any trouble hearing me, Commander? I have to say, I don't like your attitude, D.I. Marble. I don't like being second-guessed, sir. The suspect turned and looked me right in the eye. He saw the gun and he reached his hand into his jacket. I saw wires protruding. I had a second, maybe less, to make a judgment call. And in the same situation, I wouldn't make it again. I'm sure you would. So, how is the view from the moral high ground, Commander? Hmm? Any skeletons in your cupboard? Perhaps a sponsorship letter for a family member? Issued on an official letterhead? Ruby, would you mind getting the car around? Sure. You listen to me. You killed a man here. A young Muslim boy, not much older than my nephew. Right now, I'm the only thing that stands between you and the IPCC. Perhaps you should dispense with the flip attitude, yeah? I was following orders. I've heard that rationale before. I wonder if you'd been so quick to pull the trigger if his skin hadn't been brown. You think I'm a racist? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, Commander. I'm a realist. You remember your little press conference when you gave that reporter a dressing down for intimating that all Muslims are terrorists? You see, the thing is, she was only half wrong. The question isn't, are all Muslims terrorists? It's, are all terrorists a Muslim? And I think we both know the answer to that, yeah? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. 
بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دا نیم آف اللہ دا کمپیشنیٹ دا مرسی فل ناؤ اٹ ہیز بیکم اے روٹین دیٹ ایوری فرائیڈے وی مون دا ڈیتھس آف تھاؤزینڈس آف انوسینٹ مسلمس کلڈ بائی امیرکن اسرائیلی اینڈ برٹش فورسز ہو ہیو نو بزنس ٹو آکیوپائی آر لینڈس شیم آن اس We meet here, offer salat, mourn the deaths, and forget everything the very next day. Shame on you, O oh Muslims of this land and other lands. It pains me to refer to the events of the recent days following the declaration of war against the Ummah. The Muslims in Iraq, the Muslims in Afghanistan, The Muslims in Lebanon, the Muslims in Gaza, the Muslims in Chechnya, the Muslims in Kashmir, and where not? They have declared a war over our possessions, our mosques, our men, our women, and our children, and our dignity. The deviant enemies of Islam have undertaken a new phase of committing atrocities against our brothers and sisters. Their mosques have come off. Their plans have been revealed, but the wounded body of crusaders has also become feeble. And their collapse is inevitable. Brothers, we must unite and take revenge. If it means laying down our lives, so be it. ذلت کی زندگی سے شہادت کی موت ہزار گنا بہتر ہے اللہ اکبر 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 It's because of people like him, we have to suffer. Tarek, you people seem to be in a hurry. I thought I might have missed you. Listen, Junaid, perhaps this is not the right time. It won't take a minute. It's about the Hassan inquiry. Who are you? Sorry? Who are you? The boy I grew up with would never spout such bigotry, such hatred. Well, it would be well within the law to arrest you right here and now. Always the policeman. You'll have me beaten as well? Mamu, please. This is not the way. They are only words. Words? This is poison! What matters is how we interpret them. Listen to him, Tarek. He speaks the truth. I'm sorry if you people found my speech offensive. It was not my intent. Forgive me. Mamu, please. Please. It's me. I think I have something you're going to want to see. Imran! Yay. Imran! Imran! Laces, come on. Nervous? Sort of. Don't be. You'll be fine. Just watch. Everyone's bigger than me. It's not about size. It's about speed. Remember what I taught you? Go for it. Come on in, Ron. All right. All right. What's the matter with you two? Come on, cheer up. I'm supposed to be supporting him, Ron. Come on in, Ron! Where are you going? Toilet. Well, hurry up or you'll miss him. Why haven't you returned any of my calls? Three guesses and the first two don't count. Look, I said I was huh? sorry, all right? I just didn't want to look like a pussy. 
What? Make me look like a slut? Whatever. It's done. We're over. Ow! I just want to talk to you, all right? Me. Why are you being such a bitch? Ow. Let her go. Who the fuck are you, Nene? He's my cousin. You piss off, mate. It doesn't concern you. I said let her go. Fuck you. Ugh. Are you okay? I'm fine. Let's go. Deputy Commissioner Tennant's office. Well, it looks in order to me. Am I missing something? This is the tape of the anonymous caller who phoned in the tip. Meeting in a few minutes. Look, it won't take a second. Just listen again. The address 16 Mill Lane. God. Did he say Mill Lane Gardens? The wrong address. <coughs> Bloody <coughs> hell! Who else knows? No one. Let's keep it that way. I need to talk to the commissioner. I'll take that. His name is Junaid. He's been on Special Branch's watch list for about a year. And he and Ali are friends. You see what I see. Our esteemed commander shaking hands with a known Muslim extremist. Hardly a smoking gun. Depends where you're aiming. For example, if some nosy reporter were to get hold of them. Can I get you another? I'm very particular about who I drink with. Mm, flattery will get you everywhere. Hold the presses. Bismillah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, Nis brother. I want two. You wanted two sheep? Yeah, that's right. Good. Hey, man. I suggest you have a look. Have you any idea how this happened? I have my suspicions. It won't do, Commander. It won't do at all. I've known Jared since I was a child, but we're barely on speaking terms anymore. Nevertheless, the Commissioner feels, and I agree, it might be best if you took some time off. A holiday? You look as if you can use it. And after this blows over, we'll perhaps look again at your request for promotion. Please, give my best to Susan.
Oh, hi. I didn't know you were... Oh, class got cancelled. Are you okay? I'm fine. You sure? You, you look a bit pale. After dedicating nearly my entire adult life to the service of these men. After working longer and fighting harder than any white officer in the force, having my own people consider me a traitor. After all this, these men for whom I've always had nothing but the highest respect, they doubt my integrity, question my honor. Tarek. So much has changed over the years. But certain things perhaps will never change. I used to run down the hill every morning to catch number eight into town. Same bus every day. The driver, Eddie, nice bloke. He would wait for me if I was late to show up. I was his regular. There was what? Five or six of us, we rode together every day. We were all mates, but we knew each other well. A nod, a smile, a few pleasantries. You know, Tariq, July 7th was the first day that I missed the bus in years. But I was there the next day. Hey, hey! Morning, Eddie. Miss one day and you forget all about me. Sorry. And everything? Everything was different. Morning, Kate. No more smile. Just that look. Nothing that happened before that day. None of it matters now. All this he now. All they will see when they look at us are terrorists. You don't really believe that, do you? Who died? What? It's like a funeral in here. Yes, sir. I've had a very trying day. Dad? Dad? What? What time are we going to the gallery on Saturday? I'm sorry, but uh, I don't think I can make it. But the book signing. You promised. You'll do it another time, yeah? Tariq. Okay, once more with tension. Just finish your dinner, young lady. It's your turn to do the washing up. We'll go to the gallery. Just the two of us. How'd that be? Thanks, Mum. this in Zahir's room. So, what are you trying to say? Look closer. It's the same shirt. Oh, come on, Susa. That's a very famous Pakistani band. There must be hundreds, maybe thousands of T-shirts with that logo. Yes, maybe in Pakistan. Susan, there. I know he's your nephew, but I'm your wife. 
I need you to listen to me. I want you to see what I see. See what you see? I know what you see. When you look at those western eyes. Brown skin is the first thing you see. And terrorist is the first word that pops into your head. Sometimes I wonder what you see when you look at me. Well, I used to see my husband. I wonder where he's gone. Because I miss him. Officially, they're saying he's on holiday. <laughs> we British do love our euphemisms. So much more pleasant than the truth. How is he taking it? <sighs> like someone run him down with a bus. at the department right now, Susan. Phone lines are, are lit up day and night with tips. People who think their neighbours are making chemical bombs in their bathrooms and most of the time it's nothing. Just people's imagination running away. So, do you think it's my imagination? Like the limp in his walk and the T-shirt stuffed under his bed and the way he covers up the computer screen and his radical views. Yeah, but it's hardly conclusive evidence. So you don't want to help me then? Susan, if your husband, my boss, finds out that I went behind his back and had his nephew tailed as a terror suspect, well, I can just kiss any hope of a promotion goodbye. You won't tell him. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Elijah got everything you requested. I hope it's enough. It should be fine.
How long will it take to complete the job? I need to be careful. I only have access to the lab after hours. Someone on the janitorial staff is sympathetic to our cause. It's always good to have such friends. There's been a change in plan. It will happen this Saturday. Saturday? Inshallah. You must accompany Elijah to help with the job. That is not what we agreed on. Things have changed. Aziz has been taken in and the authorities are keeping a closer eye on things. Elijah cannot do this alone. I need someone I can trust. I can trust you. Can't I? Can't I? Yes, Imam. Fuck. God be with you. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. I only need a few of us. Uh, hi. Oh, why'd you close your laptop up? Something wicked? Uh, just finishing my homework. Do you fancy a break? I'm gonna get some ice cream. Hmm. Come on, you know what they say about all work and no play. I'm sorry. I can't.
Commander? Commander. Thank you. You have my condolences. I know you two were close. Any idea what she was doing out here? No. Nothing to do with the Hassan inquiry? As I'm sure you know, I've been removed from that inquiry. Sir. Found this on her. There's not much there. Well, maybe the tech can get something off it. See that they do. Top priority. Commander, you should go home. Commander? Sir? Is there anything I can help you? No worries, no worries. Commander. Oh, sorry. Hey, oh, Commander, what did you find? I was able to salvage the memory card. Huh? She made one phone call the night she died to this number. That's my number. I might also be able to... Just a minute. These are all the photos she had on her camera at the time. And did she take any yesterday? There's one. Here it is. What a surprise. I know what you've been up to, Junaid. Junaid, I know what you're doing. Uh, yes, I know. I'm watching the plant. I found out you've been meeting with Zahir, Junaid. I want to know why. I want to know why he's been coming to see you. Zahir? Oh, your nephew, the peacemaker. How is he? I hope he hasn't gotten himself into any trouble. What have you been filling his head with? That there'll be virgins awaiting him in paradise if he kills himself? That there'll be songs written in his name? Listen, Junaid, he's a young man. He's my sister's son. He's my flesh and blood. Do not try to influence him. My friend, have you nothing in your life you would kill for? The House of Islam will not be built on violence. But if people like you continue giving it a bad name... One day, old friend, one day, you have to decide, are you a policeman who happens to be a Muslim or a Muslim who happens to be a police officer? For me... You that... cannot be both. Now, if you will excuse me, it's time for my prayers. You're not going anywhere, mate. Really? You have some evidence against me? You can show yourself out. Is this D.I. Marble's house? Yes, it is. I'm... Uh... Oh, I know who you are. Please come in, sir. Thanks. Harry? Well, this is a surprise. So you've met my wife, Hannah? Hannah, this is Commander Ali. Pleased to meet you. Well, I'll leave the two of you then. So, to what do I owe this pleasure? You come to give me another lecture? I need help. Oh, from a racist? No, from a realist. No, that password didn't work. Can you think of another one? Uh, how about, uh, try, uh, gentlemen, J, A, M-M-A-T. Access denied. Zara. Ismat. I-S-M-A-T. We're in.
footprints. I don't recognise this building. I do. Galleria Shopping Centre. Oh no! That's where Mum took Imran for the book signing. Oh, bloody hell. I need a tactical squad to the Galleria Shopping Centre. We need to activate Operation Kratos. On my authorization. Yes, I take full responsibility. Just do it! Oh, no. Susan's phone is out of range. the number in already. Just press send to detonate. You better keep it. I'll get back from you after I leave the bag. Where will you leave it? Wherever it will inflict the most casualties. Whoever the explosion does not kill. The gas will. It's hit. Say it, brother. Nasrum min Allahi wa fatun kareem. Inshallah. There you go. Thanks. Hey, what's your name? Imran Ali. Are you going to read this book? Of course. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Here you go, Imran. Thank you. Cool. Bye. Bye. Hey, you all right? What's your name? Good afternoon, gentlemen. I'm going to need access to your cameras. at once. Is he one of yours? No, he isn't. Where is that? That's the boiler room, back of the second floor atrium. You keep an eye out. I'll best follow him. You! Stop! Oh, 
police! You're surrounded! Come out with your hands in the air! Out! Out! Everybody, out! Might to control, might to control. Officer shot, lower North Hall. Call ambulance. Over. That's another one. <laughs> you killed my brother? Fuck you. Zahir! Zahir! Stop! 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 Don't do this, Zahir! Don't do this, I beg of you! Zahir! No! All I have to do is hit send. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Hold it! Don't shoot! That's an order! Move back! Back away now! You do not want to do this, Zaheer. Zaheer, you do not want to do this. Please listen to me. Please. I am a warrior of Allah. It is my duty. If you do this, Zaheer, these officers will kill you. Must you die as well? Imam would say it's a good death. A righteous death. So why doesn't he die himself then? Listen to me, my son. A self-inflicted death is a sin in Islam. There is no paradise for those who spill the blood of innocence. Every day, every day the blood of innocent Muslims is spilled by Western governments and their war on terror. And you, you represent them. Please, say You are one Please. of them. There is still time. No. No. Hello? No! no. 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 Assalamu alaikum. When they said I had a visitor, I assumed it was my solicitor. I have to know something, Junaid. When did this happen to Zahir? When did you put him on this path? Allah showed him the path of enlightenment. I don't know. After his father died, you were not around in Pakistan. But I was. I'm sorry about Zahir. He was a great soldier. There will always be casualties. 
because we are in a holy war. It's not my war. It is now. Stupid question. The press are calling you a hero. You saved hundreds, probably thousands of lives. I would have gladly settled for just one more. You did a very hard thing, Tariq. I cannot possibly imagine what you must be going through. No, you can't. Try to take some comfort in the knowledge that he gave you no choice. There is always a choice. I know it's early, but I thought I'd leave these. Your promotion has been confirmed. I have a Fiona Monroe on line one. She says it's urgent. Put her through. Representatives for the family of Bakir Hassan, the young man shot to death by police on a London train platform, today confirmed that the police department has agreed to pay an out-of-court settlement. Inside sources confirmed that the evidence provided by former police commander Tariq Ali influenced their decision. Yeah. <laughs> 